Ever since I played Amanda the Adventurer, one question has been itching in the back of my mind. Who is Wooly? He's never listed in any of the credits of the show, and if you spend some time searching, you'll find this book with a code that reads, Who is Wooly? Because this is one of the hardest questions to answer in this game, I have a feeling it might be an important one. Let's discuss some theories as to who Wooly could be. Gosh. I guess you really forgot. Spoilers, obviously. Wooly is actually a boy who went missing named Jordan. When reading this note addressed to Aunt Kate, we find out a woman named Joanne Cook had a brother who went missing, and she thinks it was more than just a typical kidnapping. I think it's possible that this could be Wooly's true identity. On the outside, Wooly just seems like a scared and innocent lamb who got pulled into this crazy world of demons and fourth wall breaking TV series. He could be trying to calm Amanda down so he doesn't get caught in the path of her fury. But this theory still leaves me with some questions. If other kids went missing, like Lauren, in this tape, why is Wooly the only one who can speak and interact with both us and Amanda? Go ahead and pick a card, friend. What made him special? Perhaps we'll get the answer to this in future updates, or perhaps he's not Wooly. Sam Colton is Wooly. Sam Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer and the adoptive father of her voice actress, Rebecca Colton. He mysteriously went missing after questioning the company Hamlin and could have been inserted into the tapes like Rebecca is assumed to be. I actually don't think this one is true for two main reasons. The first being that I don't understand how and why he would be so complicit in his daughter being turned into a literal TV show character. She's the light of my life. And it makes me so happy to share that light with our community. Wooly, although scared most of the time and rebellious sometimes, doesn't seem vehemently against the world that he's living in. Although Sam Colton was the creator of the show, that doesn't mean he wanted him or his daughter's souls to be trapped in it forever. I also don't understand why he would urge the viewer to burn the tapes in earlier versions of the game, because that could potentially harm the soul of Rebecca. The next reason I don't think this is true is because I believe that this is Sam Colton. I've seen people theorize that this could be our Aunt Kate, and although I don't have any hard evidence to prove that it's not, I just don't get that feeling. Why would she wait until we've seen all the tapes, broken the curse, etc., until rushing up and dramatically slamming her hands on the table? Surprise, I'm not actually dead. I think it's more likely that this is Sam. What is this? What is she reading? Who somehow found out we were watching the tapes, trying to save Rebecca, and rushed over to either try and save us or team up with us. I want this to stop. Wooly is an AI, not a human soul who is there to accompany Amanda in the episodes. I've seen a couple people mention this, but I don't know why Amanda would be so hostile and violent towards him if this is the case. Also, he seems awfully confused when Amanda says he's a sheep and not a human. Also, also, look at poor old Meat Man. If they were really good at creating AI, why not give Meat Man and a bubbly personality too. He just, he just looks so hollow. Wooly could be a savior metaphorically. There is speculation that Amanda was summoning demons in this tape by repeating the words by yell, pie man, and ba lamb, which sound like Baal, Paimon, and Balaam, all demons in hell. If these are holy demons, we can start looking at another text that could give us some clues. If we look at religious metaphors, we would know that Jesus Christ is referred to as the Lamb of God. The Lamb has sacrificial importance and can protect against evil. It could be that Wooly is the one who will save us in the end, if this is true. He could even be sacrificed in these tapes, giving meaning behind his murders. I'm not sure if this is the case, but it's an interesting enough connection that I thought I should mention it. All oh, the sheep are right where they belong. <laughs> this final theory is the one that I think holds the most weight, and a lot of people who are fans of the adorable Wooly aren't going to like it. I believe Wooly is a doctor working for Hamlin Entertainment and there to keep Amanda in line. That doesn't seem safe. Okay, Wooly. Wooly is a sidekick character who's often seen trying to keep Amanda from going too crazy. He also tries to keep Amanda from interacting with us directly, so much so that the only time Amanda lets down her front and speaks to us is in the tape that Wooly is completely absent from. I think a particular tape tells us a lot about Wooly's motives and his power in this world. You see, in your first run of this game, you'll come across a tape called In Your Neighborhood. In this tape, Amanda wants to send some cookies and a card to her friend Kate, an interesting name choice, don't you think? Great work! I think this was Amanda trying to send information and or call for help to Kate, who was a librarian and a friend of both Rebecca and Sam in the real world. But in an alternate version of this tape, when you proceed down a different route, Willie actually takes over the episode. I think Amanda is confused. <laughs> hmm. 
distracting Amanda from this and saying it's his birthday. Are you sure that's right? I don't. It looks like it. I bet your friend is really going to love this card. Essentially telling her to give the card and present to him instead. This tells us he has some amount of power in this world and is trying to direct Amanda in certain directions. The next tape I wanted to mention is the, oh no, accidents set of tapes. Accident is when something bad happens, but it's not anybody's fault. I think these tapes reveal who Willie could be in the company, Hemlin. In the original tape, Willie gets hurt and has to go to the hospital where he must get an x-ray of his bones. And then the credits roll and wait, did that just say chief neurological officer? Why would that be listed in the credits of a kid's TV show? Maybe because in the alternate tape, he doesn't seem hurt at all. But Amanda says there's something wrong with his brain. Willie's head is broken. Then she proceeds to drug him. Here, Willie, drink this. Non-consensually. Uh, I don't know, Amanda. And says to him, It's all just pretend, isn't it? Doesn't this sound like something someone would say to a naive kid to get them to behave in such a scary situation? Oh, don't worry, Rebecca. None of this is actually happening to you. It's all pretend. She could be sarcastically digging at him after being lied to about her situation. But of course not, Amanda. I'm not asking you. It seems very possible to me that this is Amanda enacting revenge on Wooly, the doctor that put her in the tapes in the first place. Help me! Please! Not to mention that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Well, Willie did say he's allergic to apples, right? There's also symbolism in Willie being a sheep. Sheep represent innocence, purity, fragility, and naivety. But because of this, it's also used in idioms as an allegory that appearances can be deceptive. A wolf in sheep's clothing can only keep guises up for so long before they are found out. Pulling wool over someone's eyes means to deceive or trick someone. Which, side note, doesn't this monster's eyes look eerily similar to Wooly's wool? It's also worth mentioning that this company's name is Hamlin, which is a reference to the story Pied Piper also known as the Rat Catcher. This legend is about a man that lures rats away from a town, and when citizens refuse to pay him, he retaliates by luring away their children instead. <laughs> I tricked you! The phrase Pied Piper also has become a metaphor for a person who attracts a following through charisma or false promises. Now who in the series has that kind of charisma? Wooly. I'm the only one who said was wrong here! But he told us to burn the tapes in the demo, you say. He only told us to burn those tapes right before we were about to dig up a literal grave. Who was the one who said she felt like she was rotting? I feel myself rotting, but it feels far away. Amanda, nothing is rotten here. So while Wooly may look like the picture perfect image of innocence, he could just be tricking us. After all, there are only three endings where you can escape without getting eaten by the monster or made into a hanging meat pinata. How fun. And guess what? You can only get these after the alternate accident tape leads to We Can Share, where Wooly is missing, presumed dead, and Amanda is free to speak to us. I'm out there. Somewhere. But that's just a thi- wait, <laughs> wrong channel, sorry. <laughs> well, there you go. Those are some theories as to who our lovable, maybe evil companion might be. What do you think is most likely? Let me know down in the comments what you think I got right and wrong and if there's anything I might have missed. If you're interested, I did play this full game on my channel where I got all endings and all tapes. I can't wait to be cursed. <laughs> oh no, Wooly had an accident. <laughs> Watch yourself, that Amanda. Doesn't... Yeah, of course you would say that, poop pants. And tax fraud is the key to everything in this story. <gasps> It will be linked in the description. But on that note, I'm going to say farewell, friends. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, we're not alone out there, and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.